Hi everyone, come and spend the day with me organizing, regrouping, and talking makeup. You know, I just woke up with this urge to want to just straighten through a few of my rooms, and so that's what I'm planning on doing. And what I do is basically just kind of gather everything, group it all together, wipe down cabinets, countertops, or dust, whatever I'm doing, and then put everything back as I want, or even donate and get rid of. These jars I just moved from the counter to my Hoosier. I'll also share some of my tips um, how I store and get the best use out of um, my cabinets. I use metal baskets and round tables and I think that that really helps um, organize. Also I like to group like things together. I have my little coffee bar here and right above that coffee bar is a cabinet that I keep all of my coffee and tea supplies. So it makes it really handy and easy. Also grouping all of my bowls together. And then we're going to talk about some um, old Lost Makeup um, Tarte Powder Foundation and a new one by Lisa Eldridge. Hi everybody. Welcome to my channel. Um, I'm just getting my day started. Um, this morning, uh, so I thought I would just pop on here and kind of tell you uh, what I am planning to do today. I uh, didn't really have it um, like mapped out, but it's just one of those days, and I don't know if this ever happens to you, but I just woke up and said, okay, I need to declutter and regroup in the house. It just gets to be that time in July, of course, we're getting into a summer, and um, I just like to just kind of go through the house, regroup, and I've just, you know, been busy and had uh, lots of activity going on, and today's the day. It's sort of overcast outside, and I thought, you know, I think I'm just, I've got the bug, and when I get the bug, I don't like to ignore it because when I get the bug I just kind of plow through and normally what I do is I get a big empty box or you know maybe an empty bin and I just walk around from you know the rooms I want to attack and just put stuff in the bin that I want to remove from you know whether they're little tchotchkes or just maybe going to rearrange and just kind of carry that all around and just sort of regroup areas. So I've got that bug today and um, since it's overcast out and um, I have a couple of um, healthcare visits coming to the house today for my mom, I thought perfect day. Get up, get yourself ready and start attacking it. And so the kind of three rooms I have right now in my mind, my bedroom, living room, and kitchen, where I just need to declutter, um, move stuff off of tables, counters. I just kind of group it all to one side and then start. I like to wipe everything down or dust, you know, wherever I'm doing that because it's kind of like a combo clean in one. And then just slowly start to put a few things back and trust me. If you're like me, a lot of times whatever you put in that basket goes right back out. That's what I'm going to do today. And then I will check in periodically and just kind of show you what I'm doing, where I'm at. And you know, also, sometimes it's just a matter of changing what you have at home and switching it out. Like maybe I have an arrangement in the hallway that I'd like to put in the living room now. It just depends. Um, today, I just went ahead and got myself cleaned up, jumped in the shower real quick, did not wash hair days, just an up day, um, washed my face, of course, you know, toned it, moisturized it, and then, you know, I'll spend usually five or six minutes rolling all that good moisture into my skin, and, um, I was going to share this with you. This is something that came in my FabFitFun box, and it's called Needles No More, um, No More Baggage. I've been using it 
you can see it's kind of squishing down um, probably for at least solid the last couple of weeks and when you put this on under your eye for your you know excess baggage area if you have that um, it kind of feels tight when it's going on um, so I don't know I'm gonna use the whole thing up and see if it's one of those products that well, I just put a fingerprint there um, is worth uh, you know repurchasing because you know sinuses and all that so I pulled out a um, ulti but very goody and I haven't used it in a while this is the um, Tarte it's fair light neutral it is a light skin with yellow and pink undertones you know I really like this now I have um, just my moisturizer from my skincare um, line that I use on I do not have a primer on at all today um, and I pulled this out and you know I really just rediscovered I like this and it does give my skin um, nice coverage you know maybe like not uh, complete full coverage that I need like on cert at certain times but for today to be home I took my beauty blender sponge and it was still just a little bit damp from washing it out um, last night and um, just tapped it in there and just applied it and you can see how nice it deposits um, the powder now I've had this for quite a while and you know how you just get sidetracked with all of your other um, products but gosh brought it out and um, you know I'll take my powder brush and just kind of give it a good blend and I think it's I think it's really nice it feels good on and again it's from Tarte and it's in fair light neutral it says Amazon clay full coverage airbrush foundation and you know does cover when you first put it on but I'm I really can't say too much well today I'll retest it to s see how long the coverage lasts sometimes because of my redness um, it just sort of shows through so it doesn't really give me the kind of coverage that I'm looking for especially if I'm going out to an event or doing something you know where I'm dressing up uh, um, more so I'll check back with you on that one and um, I also was going to share with you um, this and I you know I feel like well because it's out of it's out of stock this is a Lisa Eldridge lipstick this is the second one that I have purchased from her line she sells out just like this you can go on her website sign up for her um, email and always you know kind of get that firsthand if she's uh, making another production um, last year I purchased her um, velvet morning lipstick that I absolutely love it's beautiful um, these lipsticks are like nothing I've ever had before. They're very reasonably priced, as far as I'm concerned, for a designer um, lipstick. And it's um, it's encased so well. It has a little magnet to it. But this, I wish I would have purchased the other two that came, you know, that she put out for the summer. They're gorgeous colors. And I have it on today. They're so moisturizing. You can really go as light as you want or you can put on a second layer to um, darken it up and what I did first was just kind of tap it on and rub my lips together and then just you know went over it um, just to put on a little more color I think it's so pretty it's really moisturizing it's just mmm it's it's so nice well, you do have to reapply but it's not drying at all. It feels really good um, on your lips and it just deposits such a beautiful um, color tone. And 
as it starts to wear or fade into your lips, it just really leaves a pretty color to your lips. I noticed it started to fade and I just put a little bit of clear gloss over it and it just kind of brightened it up a bit. So um, really, these are awesome lipsticks. I think it's the, the best way to describe it. It's one of those colors that almost any skin tone can wear and wear it beautifully. Um, sold out. Everything was just totally sold out, which really is what happened on the first launch too. So, um, you know, it's one of those you snooze, you lose, and you don't want to do that. So I'll be checking in with you and let you know about my progress. I started with my uh, dining table and just started gathering things from around the rooms. I did switch out that gray and white um, buffalo check cloth that I had in the hallway area. And then I just remove everything from each section on the counters, wipe it all down, clean it, and then start putting items back. Under my cabinet in uh, for my sink, I use metal baskets and I rubber band the cleaning cloth on top of the bottles and I love using Lazy Susan's in my cabinets for spices because I think it really um, saves space and it's easy and convenient. I like to group like things together. These are the cabinets above my coffee bar so it makes making coffee or tea so convenient. Everything is just right there you don't have to walk around the kitchen to grab a cup or get your coffee or tea. Hi everyone. Well, I'm checking back in. <clears throat> it's been a long day and it is now, oh, I think I kind of put my neck out, 8.30. So from this morning... I think when I got on, it was about 8.30, so let's say some 12 hours later. Did I get accomplished everything that I wanted to get accomplished? Not really, but I still feel like I had a pretty productive day. But let me just talk about a couple of things. Um, first of all, I have not done anything to my face, and as you can see, um, the powder did finally start to give in and wear off but like I said it's been 12 hours and actually um, I know I'm kind of oily here in my t-zone area and you can see where it just sort of um, you know washed itself off um, but I do think that for the majority of the day because I was in and out of the house I was working in the house um, dusting cleaning moving things around and you know how that just seems to you know irritate your skin um, just because of you know stuff flying around and you're you know moving and of course when you are also cleaning at the same time your hands uh, tend to be up around your glasses, your face, your touching, you know. I still had a day that, you know, I had to cook and stop and start, and uh, but I never touched my makeup. Now, I did apply, um, just before I came on here, the um, lipstick that I had on earlier, um, and that was it. So, I have to say, I was really... Um, pretty pleased with pulling out that Tarte foundation powder. I really do like it and um, for the most part now if I were um, to you know going somewhere at this point I probably would um, pull out uh, just a powder to um, freshen up and just to cut the um, oils down. And so I will go ahead and do that right now. And then that way we can kind of see how this freshens my face up. But yeah, more than likely if I had to go out because I'm pretty oily at this point, I probably would do a touch up um, of that foundation. And maybe 
um, even tomorrow, I'll um, use it again and I will first apply my NARS um, concealer in this area where I have more redness. But I do think, of course my blush has uh, worn itself out, but I do think that that foundation does give you a nice coverage. Um, and it does apply really well with a beauty blender. Now there was a little kabuki type brush that I purchased with the powder when I bought this probably about two or three years ago. And yes, no, I don't just throw away things like that um, because somebody thinks they expire or no, if it still works and um, there's no you know, odor to it, I feel like it's still fine. And um, I was really, really happy for the way it wore because my glasses are dirty. Um, I did do a lot of uh, moving around. Something else worth mentioning is that new um, Bye Bye Bags or something or Get Rid of Bags. I have to look again as to what it's called. Um, I do think it's a pretty good product. Now, like I said, I want to wait until I've used the whole tube up, but I can notice that the swelling that I have here in this area does seem to be a little bit less, um, you know, after applying it because it kind of pulls your skin a little bit tight and it keeps it dry, but not too dry to where, you know, I did um, apply a powder over it just to kind of set it and it did not settle into the fine lines but um, I do think it does help with um, the reduction of um, any bags or swelling from you know you have sinus drainage and all that in your eyes but I swear by this little tool this is a rose quartz roller you can pick these up anywhere now for about 10 bucks TJ Maxx um, they have jade ones and uh, this one is, I think it's actually called the Skin Gem and I purchased it when they first came out. I brought these in. I have two. This is the Jade Roller and this is the um, Rose Quartz Roller. So I like them. I think they're, um, uh, I don't think it's a gimmick. I do think it's a product that's um, worth um, doing on your face and it's painless so it's great. Now. How far did I get today in my venture to declutter? Well, I think I was more successful with cleaning than decluttering. Um, and I'll show a couple of pictures as what I do when I'm trying to like regroup in a certain area. But I was kind of just walking all over and then picking pieces up, putting them on my um, dining table and... Um, taking things off of the counter and then um, I fill my sink up with water and some cleaning fluid and you know just with a rag I wipe everything down and just kind of give a once over on the cabinets and then I kind of step back and look at everything and start putting things back as to you know okay I think I'll put this book over on this end or I don't think I'm going to keep these here anymore so I made some little changes um I was keeping my big canisters, my ball jar canisters out on the counter, but I decided to put them over on the Hoosier. They look really cute and they're not something that I use every day. And most of those items are in the pantry, but I just love the ball jars and I think they look just homey. And so um, kind of gave them a new home. And then um, I had a big um, steel hammered tray black tray that I had on my kitchen table and I switched that out and I put it on top of my pie safe and did a little rearranging there and then I put the actual um, it's a um, silver kind of looks like a cake stand and I had that on my dining table and then I moved that to my kitchen table so I did more moving and rearranging and I think I came up with three things that I'm just donating off to Goodwill um, and then I pulled some of my spring flowers down and uh, 
just am going to tuck those away into my spring bins and just uh, kind of clean things up and moved around some different, um, I have a gray and cream colored um, buffalo checkered um, table runner that I had on the long table in the hallway and I moved that out and I put it on the dining room table so then cleaned off that um, uh, long table kind of like a sofa table um, piece that I have in the hallway and just dusted and cleaned and did that so productive I think so I think it just kind of you know sharpens things up cleans things up a little bit and anyways it's just that perfect opportunity to you know move things off of the counter and just give them a really good wipe down and um, it just you know just sort of makes you feel uh, like you're getting um, fall ready <laughs> is it too early to talk about fall since it was like 93 degrees here and I think the heat index was like 103 or 104 I don't know but we're getting a tropical storm that's kind of coming in and so it's going to drop those temperatures and actually I could feel it uh, um, a little bit when I was outside and even in the house that kind of affects you know sometimes when you're running around in the house the the air feels a little cool so you know I did have to put on a little sweater but um, so yeah so I would say pretty productive because as I was doing all of that I was also doing laundry and you know and then you know you just have your normal typical day you know stop start on phone calls and so I kind of bounced around like going from um, you know taking everything off my Hoosier wiping it all down putting things back and then as I'm putting back I'm just like oh I think I'm gonna put this here and this here and then I did it on the counters and then of course I'd go into the pantry to get a plastic bag for something that you know I was gonna collect some stuff that I just wanted to wrap in there and then I got sidetracked in the pantry and thought oh I'm gonna move this here and there <laughs> you know and then I kept thinking stay focused stay focused you know the pantry in and of itself is a whole different ball game that's just like a morning you set aside to just say okay I'm I got to get in there and tackle some things because sometimes it can just get to be a catch-all and especially after you've entertained company and you've had you know extra food and stuff like that it it, it needs some cleaning up but so I found myself just you know doing that and then I'd walk over into the living room and I just started playing around with oh I think I'm gonna put this bowl over here and doing that and then as I did that it was fine because then I just wiped down you know that little table or stand or whatever so uh, today was kind of relaxing and enjoyable and uh, so if I thought I was gonna go through my house and really have like a big box of stuff that I was donating to give away yeah that didn't happen and sometimes like I say I take everything down and then I end up putting it all back but this time I did put the majority of it back but I did kind of switch you know where I was putting it just for a different look just to, let's just say freshen things up so I think that's it that's all I have uh, things going on and still I think pretty productive so I'm happy with it hi guys well it is the next day and I'm just finished a little segment from a video already and I just wanted to pop on because I talked about in uh, my video when I was um, talking about this Tarte powder foundation um, it's the Amazon clay full coverage airbrush foundation I said I was gonna wear it again um, the next day and use my um, NARS concealer and um, you know so I did that today and I thought you know I'm gonna just do this real quick and kind of um, come on and show you so first after you know um, I showered and washed my face conditioned it toned all that um, I went ahead and used my NARS um, foundation um, sorry concealer that uh, I've been using for several years and I love it and so I just take a little brush 
dab it in and then I just dab it all over where I want concealing. Sometimes it's the dark spots, you know, the sun spot. Sometimes it's the redness. and So I did that first and then I went in with this powder foundation. I used my damp beauty blender sponge and just sponged it on and when I bought this um, powder as I had mentioned it I bought this little kabuki brush this is also very good in its application because it just stamps the powder on after I did that I took my um, powder brush and just buffed it in all over and that's it I did not use a primer I wished I I wish I would have put on a little bit of primer just because, you know, I have those, um, I have the pore issue, you know. Um, but I think it covered beautifully. It um, has a nice um, feel to it. And uh, I really liked it yesterday because it was humid and I was in the house doing all that cleaning and going outside doing a little bit of plant work and so I just liked the way it felt and so today I thought yeah I'm gonna put it on with my um, NARS and uh, uh, concealer and just this and uh, I'm loving it again so it's really kind of fun to pull out your old stuff and I'll just kind of share with you um, the rest of what I have on um, for my blush I kind of did a little bit of um, just my Charlotte Tilbury um, products if I can squeeze this out I used the um, Filmstar bronze and glow this is beautiful. I use this a lot. Um, mostly this color. And then just for a little bit of highlight, um, just here, uh, I sometimes I blend them together. Today, just mostly the bronzing, just to add a little bit of color. And then I used um, the Charlotte Tilbury uh, Cheek to Chic. Beautiful. I think it's really pretty. Um, and then I did put on um, her, um, yeah, it really is a Charlotte Tilbury day, Magic Away um, Liquid Concealer under my eyes. And, um, and then, of course, my new uh, Lisa Eldridge lipstick. This is a love of my life, and it is absolutely beautiful. This lipstick feels so good, and I could kick myself for not just purchasing the entire set. You think I would have learned that from last time, but and then my, um, of course, favorite go-to, my Tom Ford Coco Mirage eyeshadow, which is really, I don't know, it's just so pretty. I just wear it all year round. I just love it just love 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 it and uh, and then my um, just at the very end of my Kush mascara milk and then I'll be opening um, I think I, I I made it what did I get last time? oh that I haven't used yet and it is the uh, Lancome um, curl I'm going to go back to that because I really did like that so um, I added a few drops of just basic saline um, into this and it just kind of refreshes it and so I still got good use out of it and you can see that is just one coat and I've had it on for probably 10 minutes and I'll just show you I'll add a little more right now it is pretty dried out and I have to say goodbye to it. I ended up really liking it. But you see, just a little bit really goes a long way. You just have to get used to the brush. Because at first, uh, I made a major mess with this. But after a few applications, it's great. So, that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. and. Um, until next time, this is just an update from um, earlier, and I wanted to show you because it's actually the next day. So, 
Again, until next time, be kind, be humble, age gracefully, and thank you, thank you for stopping in. Bye.